What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a battery upgrade on the Axial SCX24 Jeep Wrangler indoor build. So, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, I'm doing an entire build playlist on this little Jeep. It was bone stock and now it's customized pretty uh, extensively. We're gonna be going a lot deeper real soon. Also, I will be giving away this Jeep at the end of the build playlist, so consider subscribing. And there's more on that giveaway at the end of the video. So for today, um, I have this Venom Drive 2 cell um, 30C battery. So I got this on amainhobbies.com. It's on sale for $9.99. Um, you can never have too many batteries. Um, the stock battery that comes with SCX24, um, it does last quite a bit, but it doesn't hurt to have another one on standby. So when your other one dies, you got still, you still have some runtime. So uh, let's open this guy. Let's see if I can open it. So Venom Drive. Uh, don't really know much about the company. Oh, oh wow, there's a bunch of literature to know to know this. Uh, drive packs, fly packs, Venom battery safety sack, Venom accessories, RC alloy. Check out Venom. Didn't know they were a company. They're pretty cool. Oh, comes with a big old instruction manual. Comes with some stickers. That's pretty dope little foam piece to hold the battery. And here is the battery. So it's got some tape around it. Let's grab our little box cutter. And do we need, do we need it? I think we do. Be gentle. Cut the tape. There we go. Unwrap that. So here is the Venom 430. And so it's two cells. 7.4 volts, 30C, um, watt hours, 3.18 watt hours. It has a plug similar to the stock batteries on the stock battery. So uh, let's remove this guy and compare the two. So the stock battery is a 2S 30C, this one's 350 milliamps, and this one is, I believe, 430. So it's a little bit bigger. 7.4 volts. Uh, charge rate. Charge rate's a lot slower too. Um, but yeah. So uh, never throw away your batteries. Always properly recycle them. If I'm, I'm holding both these batteries here. I want to say the Venom is a little bit fatter. It's a little bit bigger than the stock battery. Um, overall, these stock batteries, they last a super long time. I mean, if you're running them and you're just kind of chilling, they could probably last you up to, up to 50 minutes, almost an hour. It's really surprising how long these things last. So I can only imagine how much long, longer this one lasts. So I'm assuming the battery is dead out of the box. Um, or actually, let's do this first. So here is the stock, the charger that comes with the SCX24. I hear a lot of people have them break. Luckily, I've haven't had any issues with any of these chargers at all. I've been using the same chargers for all my vehicles. So in case another one breaks, I just got a brand new one on standby. So uh, here's the plug. Fits perfectly in the charger. Don't gotta worry about that. Um, so yeah, let's put it in the Jeep and see if it has any charge at all out of the box. Fits perfectly in the battery tray. Let's plug this guy in. Home truth doesn't have battery. Oh, it does. Wow, surprisingly. Okay, so it has battery out of the box. Um, so I'm gonna kill this battery. I'm gonna drain it all the way, and I'm also gonna drain this one, and then I'll both charge them on the stock charger. Got this little iPhone cube at the end, plug it in the wall. I'll compare the times and then I will drain the batteries once again and I'll let you know the numbers on that so we can compare if uh, getting the bigger battery is worth it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I wanted to remind you guys, if you're interested in winning this Axial SCX24 Jeep Wrangler indoor build, um, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram at Miguel Cortez video, comment on a video in this build playlist, any video, and remember to like the video and that's pretty much it. It'll be free. I'll ship it out to you anywhere in the lower 48 uh, states. So yeah, good luck.
All right, so after significant runtime and charging, um, I kind of wasn't paying attention. I kind of lost track of when the batteries did charge and what times they finished at. I don't really know. My bad. Uh, it's kind of hard to pay attention to these things when you're editing videos. So I did that. And the run times are significantly different. I want to say this one is about 50 minutes. This one's probably an hour, an hour, an hour and five minutes around there. Um, that's just indoor crawling. So it was pretty easy indoors, not too hot outside. So consider all those different factors. I mean, it can vary from temperature and stuff like that. So take that into consideration. But overall, for $9.99, this battery is way bigger. And it fits the right plugs. It fits in the battery tray. Um, it works on my stock charger. I honestly don't have any issues with it at all. It's a pretty cool uh, little upgrade compared to the stock one. I mean, would recommend to a friend. Didn't have any issues with it. Definitely look into it if you're looking for a second battery for your SCX24. Also, while I was running um, the Jeep inside, the heat sink, which we installed in the previous video, if you haven't seen it, check it out right here. The heat sink got hot and I was actually surprised so it actually did work. So uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. I will see you guys in the next video, peace.